Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out a new show. This is After Life. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, man. Won the poll for the Wednesday spot, so I appreciate everybody voting. Hopefully if you guys did not want this show to win, you will still give it a chance if you've never seen it. And someone also told me to be ready, because if I think Derek is tough, you know, and it hits you in the heart, this is going to get me as well. Hopefully I'm not on here boo-hooing and stuff, dude. I try to hold it in as much as possible. I don't know if people say just let it loose. It's just not me, man. It's hard to... I don't know why. I always try to hold it in as much as possible, man. It's not easy for me to just do it, you know? Quite a few things have almost got me on this thing, man. I think the first one to really get me was the only fools one man that was so with granddad that one got me bro that one was tough you know so extras was real close oh man it took a lot to hold that in uh, man and office almost got me too i think derek afterlife are gonna get me though dude derek was real close man it, it really almost got me yeah dude let's just go and jump into this one folks and we'll talk about it more at the end if you're watching this then i'm not around anymore i couldn't say any of this to your face it's too embarrassing for you not for me obviously so i thought i'd leave you a little guide to life without me You've got to turn the alarm off in the morning, yeah? If you do set it off, you've got to ring them. The number's in your phone under alarm. The alarm code is 8645. Put it on perimeter, otherwise the dog will set it off. And feed the dog, yeah? First thing in the morning and when you get in from work. <laughs> got to put the bins out Tuesday yeah. evenings. Black bin is household waste, green bin is recycled. I didn't know it was going to be um, Hannah in this. I don't know her real name yet, so forgive me. Was she on the, was she on the cover? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing her anywhere. You want to click on the video? I don't think I saw her. Hmm. My grandmother used to love the song. What's your ball? There it is. Oh fuck! No dog food. <laughs> Baked beans or vegetable curry? Thought so. No, like yo, you tripping, bro? Oh, dude. <laughs> Gross. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm starting here today. I'm starting work here today. OK. Uh, do you have a name? Yes. Sandy. I think she was in a no, David I mean, Brent movie. Who are you meant to meet here? Who hired you? Oh, uh, Mr. Braden. Come here. Good girl. Your dog should be on a lead. What? Dog should be on a lead. Can't you read? The park's for everyone. <gasps> what? He is not a fat, hairy, nosy cocksucker. Bad <laughs> girl, Brandy. Sorry about that. Disgusting. Mm. See you later. <laughs> uh. I just wonder how people become those people who enforce rules. It's like not their job to enforce it. Like, how do you become that person? Dad on my birthday. Oh no, she was born on my birthday. She died in, in February. There's a while this is a guy I used to follow who would teach people how to speak different languages. He passed away on March 4th. On my birthday. Hi. Hey guy. What? Oh my god, I can't think of his What's name. Put it to the door. You're new, aren't you? Yeah, I was transferred. No, 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 I don't care. But presumably in your old round, you used to put things through the door, didn't you? Mate, there's no need to get all leery. Why are you talking to me like this? What, are you going to report me? Yeah. What's your name? Your law. Trust me. It's Pat. Postman Pat? Yeah. Put it through the door. <laughs> Can I think his freaking name? Jesus. You could have done that. No, I couldn't. Why not? I'm not a postman. <laughs> Go on. Cause he's on a countdown, like eight out of ten cats. Oh my god! I'm not gonna let it think. Hi, George. Him. Forget it. He's my uncle. Pedo. What? Pedo. You're a chunky kid. I'm not a pedo, and if I was, you'd be safe, you tubby little ginger cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Great to have you. I remember my first day, and it is exciting, isn't it? Kath does the advertising. Be nice to her, and she might take you out to the opening of a new restaurant, give you a free meal. <laughs> Lenny does all the photography, so if you're interested in that, everyone chips in on everything. Tony's ahead of features. He's not here. He's not himself for the minute, to be honest. His, uh, Tony, Tony's my brother-in-law. Um, he was married to my sister, Lisa, who died of cancer. I should warn you, he might say a few things that are a bit brutal, 
at times, so, you know, don't take it personally. Yeah. Anyway, uh, have fun. What's this dude gonna say to her? So how are you? Same. I've honestly nothing to compare it to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> One of my clients fantasizes about killing his ex-wife when he's masturbating. Ooh. Why are you telling me that? I didn't say his name. How does that help me? I don't know. I guess to let you know you're not the only one. Only what? Well, the only mental case out there. Morning. Morning. Terrible, isn't it? Scarred for life. Hardly scarred for life. She's 93. If she lives to 100, she's only been scarred for 7% of her life. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Tony, come on, what's going on? Uh, we're putting out a free local newspaper that no one cares about. No, that's that's not true, and that's not what I'm... Can you come in my office, please? Sure. A lot of people rely on our paper, you know? Not everyone's on Twitter, are they? What do you want me to say? That I'm sorry and I'll back my ideas up, cos I won't, cos there's no point. Look, Tony, I know that you've had issues, OK, since you lost Lisa. Do you reckon? My wife dying affected me a bit. That's why I nearly killed myself straight away. Oh, right, OK, but you didn't kill yourself, did you? So clearly, you know, something made you stop. The look on the dog's face. She was hungry, so I thought I'd better feed her. And it gave me time to think, I should be dead now. I didn't care. So everything's a bonus. If I become an arsehole and I do and say what the fuck I want for as long as I want, and then when it all gets too much, I can always kill myself. It's like a superpower. <laughs> That's the worst superhero I've ever heard of. Bless him. That's the way it is now. So this is, uh, yeah, this is Sandy. Show her the ropes, tell her what's what. Humanity is a plague. We're a disgusting, narcissistic, selfish parasite and the world would be a better place without us it should be everyone's moral duty to kill themselves i could do it now <laughs> quite happily just go upstairs jump off the roof and make sure i land on some cunt from accounts I, um ignore that um lenny uh, can you show sandy the ropes sure thing hi hi great if it was a dog you'd put it down it i feel sorry for him Maggie. Well, don't you ever feel sorry for them? I worry when they cry. We say there's nothing going on inside to make ourselves feel better, but there's definitely something going on. I'll give you a good scene, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, never heard any complaints. Kept the wife happy. Poor old dude. Good girl. We've come to the pub, me and Lenny are going for lunch. No, I've had lunch. Come on. We used to go to the pub all the time. No, someone will make me angry and that's the day ruined. Yeah, I'll take that chance, Bruce Banner. Fucking hell. Can you hear that? <laughs> fucking fat cunt Jesus. eating like a fucking <laughs> slug. Doing my fucking head in. All right. Why don't you throw yourself into your work? Sorry, I can't concentrate with that. Yeah, they're crisps, they're crunchy. Yeah, but why does he have to do all that? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Smacking and crunch are hard. It is him, okay? As I was saying, why don't you throw yourself into your work, okay? That's what the press people do sometimes. Do we so, have... A woman called in the other day, when she drags her dustbin, it sounds like Chewbacca. <laughs> no, no, all right. Um, are you woman serious? on Bragdon Road woke up Chinese. Man who got sent the same birthday card five times. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Right, let's get to the bottom of that. ASAP. Ring the doorbell. You, you disgusting. I didn't want to do it in the man's house, did I? Go to the doctor. You've definitely got bowel cancer. Hello. <laughs> Don't come out. This fat can shut himself. Are you from the newspaper? Yeah. Right? Leave him there for a while. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Is this going to be in next week's newspaper? Yeah, we rush this through. Quite a scoop. Oh, my Denise will be tickled by this. It's my wife. She passed away last year. Light of my life. I still have my downs, but then life throws you these interesting little things, doesn't it? You can't feel sorry for yourself. Got to keep going. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Hopefully those words helped a little bit. Excuse me, um, where's the dog food? I just buy the cat food. Right, well, Lady. I've got another question then. Where's the cat food? 
the tinned products out too. Cheers. Don't get up. Huh? Okay. Hi, mate. You got any money? <sighs> yes, I've got money. Give it to me then. Why? Because I'll fucking kill you if you don't. I I'm not giving you any money. Are you mental? No, I'm just tired of doing things I don't want to do. And we always have a choice. And if I've read this right, my choice is either violence or hand over my money peacefully to two useless little cunts. Are you mad? No! Oh, oh, fuck oh. off, OK? I was just about to say, hit him with that can, dude. Just fuck off. <laughs> nope, they deserve that shit. Oh, and Mark got robbed by those guys in the tunnel on Peep Show. Man, it's tough. It's no one's fault what's happened. Don't go blaming the world. You've got such a good heart. You're born like it, you can't contrive it. You're just decent. I knew it, first time I met you. Hit me like a bolt of lightning. And I've loved you ever since. <sighs> you fat twat. <laughs> All right, man, good start. Good start to the series, man. He says a lot of dark stuff. Hopefully, most of the series, I'm just saying a bunch of dark, rude shit. I definitely enjoy that. I knew things weren't going to go too well for those kids trying to rob him. Like, he's going to knock him with that freaking can. Because why not? Especially, like he said, he's not afraid of death. Like, he's ready to go and stuff. So, yeah, man. The lady with the glass at the office, I can't remember what he said her name was. I would like to see her and Ricky go back and forth. Seems like it'd be funny. Or Tony. His character Tony. Some of they're about to when he was like, why aren't you boring? Or something like that. And then his, the, the dude showed up and, like, stopped the whole thing. It'd been funny to see them go back and forth a little bit. I definitely feel him when old boy was, like, smacking and crunching really, really loud. I always hate it, like, if I'm in the movie theater and somebody sitting right behind me and they're, like, just slamming chips and smacking and crunch through the entire movie can't do it it's too tough too tough it takes you completely out of the movie you know that's i'm really happy that you can stream movies now i know a lot of people said stuff like this is gonna kill movie theaters i think they're gonna coexist they're gonna be always people who want the theater experience people who are willing to watch it at home sometimes i do want to get up and go out and go to the movies but i would love to have the option just to stay at home and watch a movie because sometimes i just don't have the temperament for it you know i will say I'm a fairly patient guy. I'm pretty patient compared to most people. But there are small things that bother me. One, I'm smacking and crunching in my ear really loud. I can't do it. That's why I can't watch like mukbangs on the internet. Can't handle it, man. I'm like, ugh. I think part of us passed on to me from my mom. That's how she is. If we smack or crunch, she'll say, get up from this table and get away from me. <laughs> Because that's disgusting. Like, eat with your mouth closed, stop smacking, stop crunching. So, like, growing up with that, it's one of my mom's pet peeves. And she's a patient, sweet lady. But she cannot deal with that. And it feels like it just kind of came off on me, you know? All right, man, that is it. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.